Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a dynamic list using the provider package. I already added the provider to the pubsec YAML file. I will start with a model class and I will name it dynamic list. It's going to have a list field, I will pass it to the constructor and I will also write a get method to access in other classes. After that, I will write the provider class. It is going to be list provider with change notifier. It is going to have a list field and add method and a remove method. What we should pay attention is to add notify listener at the end of the methods. So now I will wrap the my homepage class with change notifier provider. It is going to return a list provider value. After doing that, we are done with setting the provider. Now we will move on to the home page class. As you can see, I already wrote the template of the home page. I will get the list elements in a form and the form needs a key. We also need a text editing controller to get the value. Now we already inserted our provider widget and in order to use that I will declare a variable task item and initialize all these in init state. When initiating the provider, I will pass false to the listen parameter in order to avoid unnecessary rebuilds. And controller needs to be disposed in the dispose method. Now 
Now I will pass the key to the form. and controller to the text form field. In the text form field, we will have the onSave and the validator methods. In onSave, we will call the addItem method from our list provider class. In validator, we will check if the text form field is empty or not. In the elevated buttons on pressed method, we will check if the current state of the form is validated or not. If it is, we will save the value. Now we will wrap the list with consumer so that only the list will be built when an item is added. In our build list method, we will return a dismissible widget and we need to generate a unique key val value for dismissible widget. And in order to do that, I will declare a counter value and each time this build list method is invoked, the counter value will be incremented. I will also declare a dynamic list object to add the values to the list in our model class. Back to our method, dismissible will have on dismissed method. In this method, we will call the delete item method from our provider class.
Alright, we got an error. Let's see why it is popped up. Well, we forgot to create the dynamic list object. Let's do it in the init state. Now we have another error. Well, we got that error because we didn't specify the item count in our list view. Now we don't have any errors, let's see if it is working properly. So that's all for this video, I hope you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video for more videos, see you next time.